<laughs> What's up? Uh, hola amigos, welcome to the Do Nothing Project, a little meditation on Sunday evening. Check out my new webcam. Actually, I bought this like a year ago. I forgot I had it. My buddy Jude had it. And it looks way better. Uh, so I'm pretty psyched about that. Thank you, Andrew and Lily, and for uh, helping me get that organized. So every, for the next few weeks, I'm going to continue to do these little refinements. I'm going to, um, uh, hey, Alice. Um, so I'm going to do a, um, I'm going to try to get the lighting figured out next, and then I'm going to try to figure out, I actually have this really sweet mic, so I get the audio going better, but I need to get a little widget that makes it work with my computer. So, you know, endless improvements here. However, reality can't really be improved upon from a certain perspective. So from one perspective, it absolutely can, the relative perspective. From another perspective, things are what they are. We're going to kind of try to tap into that when this meditation here. Feeling sort of tired today, so I don't want this to be too big a production. I'm not sure if I'm going to have much juice to answer tons of questions, but uh, I thought we'd just kind of jump right into a meditation. Hey, Lily. So let's do it. 25 minutes. Um, this is going to be a meditation surprise option. Something dead simple. I start my timer. Okay, so I kind of would start by taking a few deep breaths. And so just stretching up the spine on the inhale. And on the exhale, sort of the, the softening motion, the downward motion, and the letting go motion. And that's because the diaphragm itself is just letting go then. It's just there's a kind of collapse. We can ride that feeling of it down a little bit. So riding down the feeling of the exhale. And as you're breathing out, sort of softening the whole body, it's softening the, the, the eyes and the forehead, and the cheeks and the jaw, and softening the shoulders, the arms, even the hands. Sometimes you get tight, the belly. And then right at the start here, we'll connect with our usual equanimity piece, which is really this, this sort of, it's hard to explain equanimity, but as an experience, it's a kind of stance in the mind and body that allows everything to be there. So in the body, it's kind of this relaxed openness, the opposite of it would be like being tense or braced, like you're tensing against sounds or you're holding down some feeling or braced against some sensation. It's just sort of breathing out, uh, opening and softening right, right through the front of the body. And in the mind, it's also a kind of softening. The opposite of equanimity in the mind is a kind of like rigid, judgmental quality uh, uh, where we use our thinking to kind of brace against what's actually happening in reality. So equanimity is opening to the full experience of what's happening in the moment without resistance. And it's sort of a horizon line we aim for in practice. So we can get a little bit more there by creating an intention around it and doing the things I just said about softening the body. So this right here, just sitting aware in this open place, just existing, appreciating, existing, appreciating sounds, feelings, everything, is itself a very elemental, simple form of meditation that does the job for lots of folks. It's one of those simple formulas that can't really be improved on. If that feels like a direction or an orientation that comfortable for you, easy for you, then absolutely invite you to 
will stay there. But for some, it helps to just have a bit of a light anchor, you know, something you're paying attention to that just, otherwise sometimes it can feel a little bit too spacey. And so that, the anchors, of course, are the breath, the feeling of the body itself, maybe the hands, feeling the hands, the sounds. Could also just be looking at the eyes. The, you know, if your eyes are closed, looking at the swirly, you know, pixelate kind of lava lamp stuff in front of the eyes. Just something to kind of tether your consciousness. That feels like a better version for you. Then just choose something. Now let's relax into the flow of things here. I'll come back in a few minutes. Good, so we're giving ourselves permission here to just be in this open way. Letting sounds and sensations and everything just sort of pass through our experience. And you might be sort of in this just open place, aware of everything, not really hooked on anything. Or you may be lightly pref preferencing the sensation of the breath, say, or the feeling of being a body or maybe sounds. Whatever feels most natural for you, I guess. If there's lots of thoughts there, trying to just let them be in the background so you're not trying to shut them down. You're just sort of not feeding them. If you notice you're off thinking, I'll let it go, let go of the fixation on the thinking and come back to just being in open awareness or noticing the sensation of the breath or sounds. It's a really simple practice here.
Good, so just keeping on here. So any orientation and practice towards more simplicity can often be really interesting, kind of really rich. And by that I mean, say you're noticing the breath, noticing the subtler, softest qualities of the breath. Or if you're in the body, just beginning to notice where is there stillness in the body? Or where is there silence around me? If there's silence where the thoughts are, noticing that quiet. So there's a kind of way in which we begin to develop, even in a super restful, simple practice like this, a kind of curiosity towards the zero, the quiet, empty, settled parts of our experience. And it's sort of like, almost like you, your breath starts to slow down and you get really curious about, about just that thing. It keeps our attention and it, it's like a pointing towards even more tranquility. I'm just offering that as a prompt in case it lands for someone. It's a staying with the practice. Sort of like, can you stay completely aware while being utterly relaxed and surrendered to experience? Maybe lightly paying attention to the breath or sounds or the body. Oriented to, curious about, respectful towards simple things, simplicity in our experience, quiet, stillness,
could live sitting poised, open, letting the world just sort of refresh itself inside your awareness. You're not interfering at all with the stream. Just letting it happen, aware of what you're aware of. And you can be loosely yoked to a stream of sensations like the breath, soft feeling of the breath, or tingling in the hands or sounds. Or you can just be more panned back, kind of just kicking back and just being here, giving yourself this break, this opportunity to do almost nothing, luxuriating in nothing. And be. Okay, good. So we're getting close to finishing up here. We'd finish with a little kind of like a positivity practice, loving kindness practice, compassion practice, whatever you want to call it. A little cherry on top of the uh, main practice. And for this one, 
call this one meditators unite in time and space. So I just wrote this one for 10% happier, but the idea is to just smile and kind of think, imagine all the other people sitting right now as we're sitting. Actually, there's at least however many are watching us right now. I think there's like 30 or something, 20. So just picturing this network all around the world, people sitting in this exact moment synchronized with your sit and kind of smiling and saying thank you as you think about this, feeling that connection. Thank you. And then smiling and kind of going one notch beyond, thinking of all the other people right now who are meditating on the planet you know, from different modalities and traditions and techniques. But right now happen to be sitting and just sort of, at least part of what they're doing is just existing and having an intention to, to meditate. We just say kind of thank you. We kind of feel that connection, breathing in that, uh, that interconnectivity. And now we can think more widely about everyone who's ever meditated, anyone alive now or even in the past, all the different generations of people from different traditions and cultures who the practice of just sitting with themselves, we can use meditation as much broader sense, just this sense of contemplation of just being with themselves, feeling ourselves be part of that lineage, this tradition. It's incredible, universal, basically, human tradition of uh, sitting in, inside your own experience and opening to it. And I say thank you. It's good to be part of this stream, this age-old stream. And we're just chilling in one little note of it right here. Well, thanks, guys. <laughs> Come here, sweetie, if you want. You guys can see my wife if you want. <laughs> Come say hi. <laughs> uh, she's meditating right there. Um, her leg's frozen. Uh, so, yeah, I was going to say something, you know, take a snapshot right now. Like, you know, those screenshots? Take a screenshot of how you feel right now compared to where you began. Something that's really important to do, actually, uh, towards the end of a practice to kind of see yeah, this is a technique that works for me, or this is a practice that actually you can kind of feel in real time the contrast between where you began and where you finished. It's sort of a nice thing to do. So you take a second now and just kind of check in. If you feel more settled, more present, then you know it's a practice that's you know good for you, <laughs> at least this time around. So uh, what do we got here? Uh, cool. Okay, so uh, one thing I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about how much pleasure I get from the fact that this is probably, in some ways, the single worst um, YouTube live stream in history. Um, the production value is extremely low. The content, mostly empty space. I uh, haven't really figured out the lighting yet, though we do have this webcam. Um, I just figured out my theme five minutes before I do it. No animations, no bling. And I really like that. So thank you for joining us for family time here in the single most boring live stream in the history of the internet. Glad to be here with you guys. Awesome. Okay. Do you want to do a meditation next next week? You want to guide one? Sure. Okay. So next week we're going to do a meditation on guided by a pregnant human being. So by two people at once. Sweet. I'm checking out. Good night, guys.